Hello my dear friends, today we are going to discuss the Nobel laureates of 2020 in physics and their contribution and the, uh, the work done by those people will be briefly discussed in this video. First, 2020 physics Nobel Prize has been jointly conferred to Rosal, Rosal Penrose of UK, Reinhardt of Germany, Andy of USA has jointly conferred the Nobel Prize in physics. First top of the Nobel Prize has been awarded to Roger Penrose and the rest of the hop has been given to the Reinhardt and Andrea. So the, their contribution to identify to discover the objects in the darkest objects in the universe. First, Roger Penrose has been awarded this Nobel because of the identification of the black hole uh, formation. So the evolution and formation of the black holes is one of the most important event and that black hole formation has been identified so actually it was uh, earlier several scientists has been immensely contributed like Albert Einstein or in the case of our Subramanian Chandra Shekran so they have immensely contributed for this work so that work has been uh, continued by this Roger Penrose and so he has been proved he has been proved with black hole formation and general theory of relativity which, general theory of relativity which was proposed by albert einstein in 1990 so that general theory of relativity as well as for the black hole formation this roger penrose has been awarded half of the nobel prize in 2020 and the rest of the half has been awarded to reinhardt and andrea for identifying the supermassive object which is located at the center of our galaxy called as Milky Way. So every galaxy will be anchored by a black hole. So for example, <clears throat> any major galaxy will be having, but will be have will be under the control of a black hole. So the black hole uh, which is regulating our galaxy, so which is nothing but our uh, Milky Way, has been exp extremely proved by these two scientists, Reinhardt and Andrea, has ex extremely proved the presence of our um, the supermassive black hole, which is located at the center of our galaxy called as Milky Way. Next, so for that, you need to understand what is meant by black hole and what is the <coughs> evolution and process of the black holes. So these two are interrelated topics. Black hole and general theory of relativity are very very important topics. So as it was explained in the case of interstellar movies so black hole is black hole is black in color because no light will be absorbed so no light will be reflected back so most of the light will be absorbed so for that you just we will have a one small simple beautiful discussion for example if you look at the a planet star and black hole just have the comparative analysis of the planet star and a black hole so what is a planet planet will be having so if you want to fly away from earth so if you want to fly away from the earth you need a minimum escape velocity what is escape velocity the velocity required to overcome the gravitational force is called as escape velocity so for example the escape velocity depends upon the gravitational force so the gravity 11.2 uh, kilometers per second is the escape velocity so it depends upon the gravitational force of the earth whereas in the case of star will be having its escape velocity which is extremely higher than the planet because it is more massive than the earth whereas in the case of if you look at the black hole black hole will be having more ma massive super massive and because of its high mass and high gravitational force most of it will most of the light so light even cannot escape out of the black holes that is why they are in black holes. so light will be having mass and that massive light can be trapped by the black holes because light um, the gravitational force of this black hole will um, can pull that particular light light cannot escape out of the gravitational pull of the black hole that is why this object is called as black hole let me repeat one second. If you look at the planet's gravitational force, star's gravitational force, and black hole's gravitation. 
each and every object will be having their differential gravitational forces. So some planet will be having less, star will be having more, and black hole will be having extremely higher gravitational force. And because of the presence of extremely higher gravitational force, black hole will be, if you want to go away from the black hole, you, um, you need to travel much more faster. So how much speed is needed? You need to travel faster than the light. Unless and until you, you can not travel faster than the light, you, you will be absorbed by that particular black hole. That is the first important point you need to remember. Uh, with reference to this black hole okay so these uh, means the light cannot be escaped out of the gravitational force of the black hole so that is the <coughs> black hole formation how the black hole formation can be seen so you can see the evolution of the planet star and black hole the evolution of the planet star and black hole can be seen depending upon the evolutionary power. For example, if the star is there, what is the source of energy for the star? The source of energy for the star is nothing but nuclear fusion. So that nuclear fusion energy, try to understand, the nuclear fusion energy of the star, the source is nothing but helium or hydrogen. If the hydrogen, has, after one point of time, hydrogen will be completed. So after one point, so for example, this is a star. So this is the star. So this star will be trying to have the gravitational collapse. It will be having gravitational collapse. And so means it, um, the, um, the edges will try to move towards the center. Edges will try to move towards the center. But the, those edges which are trying to move towards the center will be pushed back by this nuclear fusion. Just try to understand the logic. So as a, from the corners, the energy will try to come forward, the gravitational collapse will try to come forward. That will be overcome by the nuclear fusion. But what will happen? So that nu nuclear fusion is retarding, uh, it is trying to prevent the entry of this, um, entry of this gravitational collapse. But at one point of time, if this gravitational collapse dominates the nuclear fusion. If the nuclear fuel is exhausted, if the hydrogen fuel or helium is exhausted, what will happen? That gravitational collapse will be ha will happen and thereby we can see the formation of a black hole. So, a star is, uh, for example, Earth will be completely, if you can able to convert the Earth into the size of the um, outer ring road of Hyderabad or the city of Hyderabad with, with the size of the Hyderabad. So, you can see the entire supermassiveness can be seen because of the gravitational collapse. Just write on this. So these are the two important concepts. So light cannot escape out of the black holes. Number two, the evolution or the formation of the black holes can be seen due to the gravitational collapse and the evol and the escape of the particular um, escape of the uh, exhaust of the nuclear fuel and nuclear fusion fuel and thereby the gravitational collapse can be seen and this object will be converted into a super massive object or massive object. So that is the concept with reference to the Rosen Penrose ex um, ev experimental evidences for the black hole formation and general theory of relativity. And what is meant by general theory of relativity? General theory of relativity for understanding the general theory of relativity, let us have one simple example. Number one, <coughs> the gravity will inversely proportional to the age of the indiv individual. If more gravity is there, if more gravity is there, what will happen to the if you are traveling through the um, densely objects, your age will come, will come reduces because time will move faster. F means time will also be move faster. So that is the fourth dimension of the Albert Einstein. So you know length, breadth, height as well as time. Albert Einstein has predicted the possibility time is also one of the important factor like LBH and <clears throat> if you look at the your head age of your head and to the age of your legs so leg will be having more gravitational attraction towards the legs towards the earth and whereas in, in the case of your head your head will be having somewhat distantly located than your legs so thereby so it will be having less gravitational pull. So because of the 
less gravitational pull your head will be your age of your head will be less than uh, your your head will be somewhat older than your legs your head will be older than your legs as per the general theory of relativity predicted by albert einstein so let me repeat once again even by milliseconds now it, it cannot be seen by hours together so your head is away from the gravitational force as your head is away from the gravitational force what will happen to your head so that its gravitational impact is less so as it is having very less gravitational impact it will be having more, uh, it is more older and whereas in the case of your legs as your legs are become, as your legs are there near to the um, near to the surface of earth so automatically we can see these will become are you getting my point these are younger so by milliseconds after 10 years or 20 years so means gravity will be inversely proportional to the age of the individual so that is um, that is how the general theory of relativity has been expl uh, extremely exp explained by the albert einstein so that theoretical explanation of the albert einstein was experimentally proved by this roller penrose so uh, for that um, black hole formation and general theory of relativity for, um, for these two contributions he has been awarded nobel prize in 2020 physics next what is that one a uh, second one so supermassive object at the center of our galaxy it means these scientists have identified the uh, extremely located no, extremely lo central centrally located object which is located at the center of our milky way so this is a simple brief explanation with reference to our black holes and 2020 nobel prize so this is the most um, exciting stuff in the description box you can see the um, in pdf is also there and you can have a um, nice um, explanation thanks for watching